Welcome back everyone to Organic Lawn Warrior channel. Today I'm going to show you my DIY sprinkler system that I put in the fall and how to move ahead from one spot to the next. So let's get started. So like I said, I have a DIY sprinkler system. Uh, it's over here on my hose bib. I'll show you it right here. And basically all it is is a Melnor timer and um, it's got it hooked up to these uh, funny pipes here um, and they run out into my yard. Um, I really love this Melnor water timer. Um, you have four zones and you have four cycles on each of those zones. So come overseed time, it's really helpful to water multiple times during the day. So please check out the link above to my Melnor water timer instruction video. Um, it's really cool. It's a really great timer. Haven't had any problems so far. Um, and this is my second season of having it. So like I said, my Melnor water timer, it's hooked up to different spots in my yard. I actually have a timer on one side of my house and on my other side of the house. Um, but as you can see here today, I'm digging a trench. Um, my plan is to move this sprinkler head that's right here from this spot down to that corner of my driveway over there because what this sprinkler head right does right now is it gets a lot of the driveway and basically what I want to do is, is move that sprinkler head down to that side. So a couple of the tools that I'm using to dig this trench here um, it's one of these live edge uh, edgers you can get these at Lowe's and Home Depot they're really nice it has a nice sharp blade and it's really easy to step on um, and this is just a regular spade shovel um, this is really good to, to bring up the trench that you're digging um, and obviously as you can see it's raining a little bit today but that's good um, what i always recommend if you are digging some trenches in your yard is have it a little bit wet um, it's going to be obviously deeper well deeper but easier to dig out those trenches um, so today the gods kind of fell upon us and uh, it's raining a little bit but we're going to manage and get through it so like i said it's real simple you just put your edger here and you're going to go back and forth and keep going down and you don't want to make it too big and you want to come across and do about like two foot sections at a time Put your edger to the side, come back with your speed, and just lift it up a little bit. And then from there, you're just gonna go up underneath of it just flip it over it's okay if it tears and then we're just going to keep going down until we get down to that corner So once you get done digging out your trench, obviously you can see here, we have a nice trench here. We gotta be careful of cables. So we're gonna come down the line here. And we're gonna come to our sprinkler head. And what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna clip here with our, with our knife. Um, we can save the head here. And we're just gonna run a new pipe down our trench line here to the corner and that's it and then we're going to fill it back in and we're good to go another nice tool that i like to use is one of these trenching shovels um, they come really in handy for digging out trenches um, it's a really nice shovel and i recommend it so basically what we're going to do now is is we're going to take our 
This is for pecs, uh, but you can use this as well for cutting the funny pipe. Um, we're gonna go down as much as we can and we're gonna cut it off. And basically what I'm gonna do is, is I have a couple connections here from when moving this around in the fall time. I'm just gonna unscrew this end. And I'm just gonna take another elbow and put fit that back on there. And then I can just use this head down at the other side. So basically I'm gonna take this now, put that down in my corner where I'm gonna put this. And the next step, we're gonna take our old pipe here. And we're gonna put a straight connection on here and then run our pipe down to our, our spot here. So I got my funny pipe here. I'm gonna take my straight connection here to connect two together. And all you're gonna do is feed that on. Takes a little bit of force to put that in there. And then from here, I'm gonna take my other connection and feed it onto here. So that's pretty much it, got it connected. I'm gonna feed this line down to my trench. And then before I do anything, before I fill in anything, I'm gonna test this and make sure there's no leaks anywhere. As you can see here, we fed the rest of the line down here. I went up underneath of my cable line here um, and I got my head here. Um, so I know that my head's gonna go about here, right in this corner. Um, so basically I'm gonna take my funny pipe next and just measure off how much I need about. Then I'm gonna take my uh, knife here and I'm basically just gonna cut it and I'm gonna connect it to the sprinkler. So what I did was, is I filled this in a little bit with some dirt and I just flipped back the grass that was there and gonna go and get ready to turn it on and make sure it works. So the last step, once you make sure you check for leaks, uh, make sure you check for leaks down at your head there. Um, the last step is to basically just flip back the trenches that you dug. You're just going to basically flip them back into the hole that you just dug. And if you had a stamp ring or a stamper tool, but basically what you would do is just lightly stamp them in. But I don't have one of those tools. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is once I start flipping these over. I'm just going to take my feet and just push them in. Don't worry about the grass. Um, it will fill back in real nice. Um, I just put down a, my second app of the season, so I'm not too worried about it. I have a regular water schedule that I do um, three times a week, so I'm not too worried about this grass um, dying or anything. Um, these roots are extremely long and um, I'm really pleased with actually seeing how long some of these uh, roots are. So I'm gonna bring this one up into the camera view. And you can see here, look how long those roots grew. Um, and that's basically from last fall. I was hitting with it uh, with some root booster, some RGS and some Humic 12, and that's what really drove those roots real deep in there. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to show you my sprinkler system, my DIY sprinkler system I put in the fall time. 
I've been meaning to move this sprinkler for a while now. I've been wasting a lot of water on my driveway, so I got out today. Um, I was able to do it. it. Looks like it might rain in a little bit, so which is good. Um, we'll let this area settle um, for the time being for the rest of the year, um, and probably before I do my fall overseed, what I'm going to do is just level this off uh, with some either some sand or some topsoil just so this area is nice and smooth um, for the overseeding and obviously when we go to cut the grass as well. If you found this video helpful today, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other people can find my channel. They can find this video. Um, I really appreciate it if you can. If you're new, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. It's an all organic uh, lawn care channel. There are no herbicides in my lawn. Um, that's what I strive for. Um, no herbicides, just strictly fertilizer, organic fertilizer. Um, and as you can see, my lawn has come out pretty well so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and in the fall time, we're going to do an over, another overseed. So please stay tuned. And if you have any comments, questions, please comment below uh, about what I did today. Um, I always get back to everyone. So please, any questions, comments, please comment below. And I'll see you in the next one.